In this screencast, I'm going to talk about heart calculations. You have a worksheet. It's labeled PP, MAP, CO, SV calculation worksheet. And number one is asking you to complete the term representing the abbreviation and what it represents. So please follow along in the screencast and complete this as you listen and, and follow. The first thing we want to talk about is cardiac rate or the heart rate. It's represented by HR. The definition is the number of beats the heart makes in one minute. The average number is about 72 beats per minute. Those who are in better shape have lower numbers. Those who are out of shape might have higher numbers. It's based on age, weight, and exercise. Things like that can make a difference. We also know this as pulse and, of course, heart rate, as we talked about. Second term is called stroke volume. It's represented by SV. This is the volume of blood pumped out of the heart per heartbeat. Uh, the average is equal to about 70 milliliters, and this occurs when the ventricles contract. Cardiac output CO is the volume of the blood that the heart pumps in one minute. It's usually measured in liters, so you're likely to have to convert this from milliliters. If you remember, the stroke volume is given in milliliters, but this value is given in liters. So remember, there's a thousand milliliters in one liter. So if you divide your value by a thousand, if it's in milliliters, you'll convert it into liters. The formula is equal to heart rate times the stroke volume. Pulse pressure is next, represented by PP. This is the difference between the systolic and the diastolic pressure readings. So those two things, the diastolic and systolic, are part of the blood pressure. We'll talk about in a minute. And all you have to do is subtract those. Um, it's measured in millimeters of mercury, mmHg. It represents the force that the heart generates each time it contracts. So pulse pressure is equal to the systolic pressure minus the diastolic pressure. Mean arterial pressure, MAP, M-A-P, is the average arterial pressure during a single cardiac cycle. If you remember, a cardiac cycle is the contraction of the atria followed by the contraction of the ventricles. That's one cycle. It describes an average blood pressure in an individual. The formula for MAP is one-third times the systolic pressure, that's the top number of the blood pressure, plus two-thirds times the diastolic pressure, that's the bottom number of the blood pressure. Blood pressure is the pressure of the circulating blood on the walls of the blood vessels. This refers to the arterial pressure in systemic circulation. So it's in the arteries and it's in the systems, which means it's in the body. That's why we measure it on the upper arm. It's represented by two numbers. Very often we think about that as 120 over 80. That's a pretty decent blood pressure. 120 is the top number and it represents the systolic pressure. 80 is the bottom number, and it represents the diastolic pressure. The systolic pressure is the pressure in the vessels when the ventricles are contracting, so that's greater. The bottom number, the diastolic, is when the ventricles are relaxing, so there's less pressure in the arteries. N diastolic volume, EDV, is the amount of blood collected in the ventricle during diastole, and this number has to be measured and given to you. Either you won't calculate that. And systolic volume, ESV, is the amount of blood remaining in a ventricle after contraction. And again, this number must be given to you as well. But those are useful in doing some other calculations. You will need those to calculate the stroke volume. And that's the end of this. So use this information as you move forward, and we will be all set. Good luck.